Hey everyone, quick video today. Uh, it's actually a video I shot uh, in its entirety yesterday, but as I got through it, I decided I actually did want to hook up the flow meter. So I'm showing you the flow meter right now. I'm going to show you, uh, I don't want to change pumps or anything like that, but I do want to show you what this log splitter will do. And back here. This is a 25 ton county line log splitter. You can get at Tractor Supply. I bought this second hand off of Facebook Marketplace. I assume that everything is pretty normal. It looks like it's in really good shape and hasn't had a lot of use. Um, but the only thing that makes me question if there's anything wrong with it, again, I have no reason to believe there's anything wrong with it, is just how slow it goes uh, with the stock flow. So um, I think it's right. Uh, all of the connections, uh, you know, these are NPT. This is a half inch tube. These are half inch. Actually, these might be three eighths. Let me see here. No, these are three eighths, but that's that's rated for for plenty of flow. Um, so I think it's got enough capacity. But uh, as I'll show you here in just a bit, uh, it looks pretty slow when it's running. So all that to say, um, I'm going to start her up. I already have the tractor warm. I've been moving some things around. You know, I don't know the exact temperature, but but I feel confident that it's uh, at operating temperature. And um, I'm going to, you know, basically spec the RPMs for stock flow, which with this particular meter that you're looking at, uh, a stock 1025 hour pump will produce three and a half gallons per minute through the power beyond at wide open throttle on this tractor. So um, we're going to figure out what RPM that is. And then we'll show what the wide open RPM is um, based on how I have this tuned. And we will go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. Start her up. So 1200 RPMs for, for how I have it set. Uh, just take a look and see what we're getting. Um, two and a half, a little over two and a half. So. 2.6, 2.7 maybe. Let's jump up here to factory item. Um, so based on how I have it tuned, factory idle is actually going to be three and a half uh, gallons per minute. So this would be uh, we're all set it for the factory test. And let's go. Wide open drop. Just under eight. Right at eight, I would say. to 3350 to um, 3400 RPMs. So, um, I don't know if I mentioned, the reason I don't have all of this done in serial, which you could totally do and see what the actual flow is in real time, is I'm missing a quick connect. As you can see, I've rubbed it off of here, put back on my, my flow meter here. Now, that said, when I got this thing, it was it was set up for a more traditional tractor. Um, so it had two uh, of the males, and uh, that's why I had to rob one. And if I was better prepared, I would have another one. I did go to Tractor Supply yesterday and try to get a female Quick Connect, but they only they did not have the one I needed. So I'll pause here and get it set up for the uh, the split test. All right, we're back now. Um, so all I'm going to do is start the tractor, go to 1600 RPMs, which is three and a half gallons per minute. We just tested that, uh, split a piece of wood or two, and then, um, do the same thing at wide open throttle. And this will give you a real world, real world example of just what kind of performance you'll expect to get, um, with the hydros plus. And I should mention, this is the extreme kit. So this is the nine and a half gallon per minute pump with the with the uh the hydros plus kit and you know tuned the way i like it uh obviously um you have some uh, just a little bit of flexibility you can tune it 
a little bit tight or or once it opens up it really just opens up mine is probably set about the way that i send it out which is a quarter turn open um and as you saw you know nine and a half that's going to give you somewhere in the neighborhood of a gallon and a half um, per minute uh, to the steering and then the rest the balance being about eight gallons per minute to um, to the implements so um, let's get this going and I'm gonna split this small this is just for like a solo stove I have no I honestly have no business having a log splitter like this with the exception of showing uh, everybody uh, the performance increase uh, that you're gonna get with the, the Hydros Plus system So this is the speed, this is three and a half gallons per minute, and if you've got one of these at home, 25 times, um, I mean it is a big cylinder, it's got a lot of power, but that's that's how fast you're going to go, which is uh, really slow, if you ask me.
Let me just show you this log splitter. Uh, this is a little... So that, that's what it looks like. Um, I don't know, you know, what it's going to look like on camera. What I can tell you is uh, it, it's clearly, you know, just by the numbers, a little more than twice as fast. It feels a lot faster. Um, it also feels like uh, pretty close to the minimum, I would say, that you would want to use with a log splitter this size. I mean, this is a, uh, that's got to be probably five inches easy um, on the ram here. But uh, I feel like if I, if I had this out, and I, I won't ever do this, I mean, this is my pile of wood. If I had this out and had to split a cord of wood, um, I could definitely do it uh, with Hydros Plus. Without it, uh, I would probably try to use a split and maul, I think. It, is, it would just be painfully slow. And, and, and honestly, if you uh, were going to buy this and use it with a one series without Hydros Plus, I really think that you would be better served uh, just getting a dedicated uh, unit that has its own motor. Um, <laughs> Partially because this thing is a beast. It is really heavy. And, um, you know, it is set up for a three-point. Um, but you can't manhandle it. I mean, you can push it around just a little bit. It's on these little spindly legs. Uh, so I feel like it's a it's a hazard just standing here. But, um, but yeah, that, that's what I would say. I, I do think it's fast enough with Hydros Plus. I don't think at all I would bother using one without uh, Hydros Plus. And I would say that Hydros Plus with... Um, with a pump. So I think that's a key point.